Are you afraid of radiation? Can you estimate its risks? My work is actually in the field of material religion, so I mostly work with objects and their religious significance. I also follow the agency of objects and interaction with human senses, as well as material representations of different religious ideas. For my dissertation, I focus on the perception of the post-Chernobyl radiation by the people who live close to the contaminated land of Belarus already for 30 years after explosion. But you might say, wait a minute, radiation is not really an object, and you cannot even sense it. Moreover, it's a, such a purely scientific concept, what it, what, ha, what it has to do with religion. And you will be partially right. You cannot sense radiation. You cannot taste, smell, or see it. So how do you encounter or conceptualize it? Mostly through what we call nuclear culture, images created to illustrate effects of radiation for the wider public. Images from illuminated atoms and X-rays depicting people's skeletons to more vivid scenes of radioactive mutations in mutant ninja turtles or a nuclear apocalypse in Planet of the Apes or Mad Max. Therefore, no, we do not encounter radiation as a scientific concept. We encounter it as a terrifying cultural construct of godlike powers, able to see through people and objects, create new species through mutation and destroy worlds. Such image of radiation cannot be free from religious metaphors, biblical allusions, comparisons to the demonic powers and divine providence. Here we come to what exactly I do for my dissertation. So I collect and analyze pictures of artworks, secular and religious, commemorating Chernobyl explosion, such as films, paintings, icons and memorials. Moreover, I observe how people in Belarus, especially women, comprehend radioactive contamination, how they use daily objects and substances to protect and purify themselves from radiation. In less words, I analyze symbols and images people choose to connect radiation to any religious idea or plot, and how people appeal to God, Virgin Mary, or saints for protection from radiation. So if you are afraid of radiation, I hope my work will help you to realize how your fear is might be much more influenced by religious imagery circulated in mass media than by the scientific data. Thank you.